Yo, what's going on, everybody? Cameron Van Hoy here. Hope you're having a spectacular life because you only get one. So you need to take advantage and live it to the fullest. Be good to yourself and those around you and tell some stories along the way. Um, that's what I'm here to do. Um, make movies, make cinematic experiences. And there's a lot of wonderful things happening in my life that I'm really excited to continue sharing with you. One of which is what I want to talk about in this video, which is the building out of the flinch experience. I have stumbled upon, as many of you know, um, I mean, gosh, so many incredible technologies that are revolutionizing film from blockchain to Unreal Engine and now AI. Um, and I'm just trying to put them all together and do something really epic. Um, you know, Flinch and the Flinch experience. Flinch is a film that I've made that I then uh, dropped an NFT project around and have built a community, a very vibrant community that is working and telling stories within this world. And I continue to provide tools so that they can do so in like really grand ways. And one of the things that we're doing is building a movie studio. You know, when you think about having a decentralized community of people that own characters within a cinematic universe, you want them to tell stories within. You want this community to work together to build out the franchise. Um, you need to provide tools, right? You need to you need to give them ways to make movies. Ultimately, um, one of the cool things about technology is how inclusive it is and how democratizing it is. It democratizes really big, exciting things, uh, niche things, uh, rare things that you know, many years ago, a very few amount of people could enjoy, but now more and more people. One great example is just a private chauffeur, right? That was something that you had to be very wealthy to have for a long time. And then you had to at least be somewhat wealthy. But now with Uber, it's really democratized it, right? We've seen this with technology again and again and again. It's going to do the same thing with filmmaking. Yet there is kind of a barrier to entry with making movies, especially live action movies, is that... um you know, you have to have a movie set. Movie sets are very expensive. You have to get a lot of people and a lot of equipment and a lot of locations together to make a film. Um, that's not going to end, right? And this project that, that we're building, also, we, we have a film. We've made a film, Flinch Part 1 exists. We're going to make more live action films. But we're also going to make a lot of stuff within virtual movie sets, utilizing game engines like Unreal Engine. Uh, so we're building a set. We're building a studio backlot, a lot like what Warner Brothers Studios was in the 40s, right? In this new digital decentralized world that we're uh, increasingly living with, within, um, having a virtual movie studio, especially for, you know, an IP like Flinch, which involves a large community of people all around the world, you need a place for everyone to come and create. And so this game engine allows us to build sets, put characters in those sets and tell stories within these sets and shoot scenes and create cinema together. And so, you know, we've been building this and it's really incredible. And I want to demonstrate um, the camera function. So if you can see here, this is the set, right? So, so far we've built a city uh, we have two islands for the city connected by a bridge. There's a few interior locations like a nightclub. Um, there is a prison. There are um, a couple other cool locations. And this, what we're looking at right now is a camera function. All right. So we have a camera that's built inside um, this set that you can move around, operate, and record with. And you can change various things. Like if you look here on the left, you can change focal length, focus distance, aperture, um, other things like this, the height of the camera. You can focus the camera. So you can, you know, you can zoom in, you can swap out lenses. You can go from a 35 millimeter lens to a longer lens. I think if we come here, maybe we start messing around with uh with lenses and focal length, focal lengths, because we want to, you know, when you put on a longer lens, you can compress space and then you can get a more shallow depth of field and create cinematic experiences. Um, this set is where we're going to come together and tell story. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff to dissect here and how we're using Unreal Engine 
for a community to come in. Of course, we have a bunch of, we utilize NFTs, you know, digital assets, um, which are characters. And these characters, everyone who owns one is going to have a digital avatar of their character that's fully operable within this space that we're going to be telling stories with. Uh, and I'm going to get into some some conversations about how we're going to use AI to further advance this community franchise, as you would call it. I mean, really incredible things with AI, uh, like picking a voice for your character and keeping a common voice, um, being able to write screenplays. You can write them yourself manually, or you can utilize AI now to help generate stories, backstories, dialogue, all kinds of things so that you can really get a community of people kind of pumping, you know, working together and creating plot lines and then getting them animated and then exporting these scenes. Um, but for starters, we have to build the world, you know, and, and every one of these walls, every plant, every sign that you're seeing here, right? There we are zooming in, changing the focal length. Um, everything that you're seeing here, we're building it. Right. And we get to build it however we want. This is our movie studio. This is where we're going to tell our stories. And then, of course, one cool thing that we're doing is providing ad space. So like this particular shot you're seeing here, like that's a billboard in our movie studio. So as people tell stories and as more and more people come in here to watch stories, and then, of course, as these stories are exported, because there's really two ways to partake in the Flinch experience, in our IP. Um, one way is by coming into the world, into the movie studio, and you know, being a fly on the wall. If you don't hold the character and you're not a creator, you're not a storyteller within this franchise, you can just come in and, and watch stories and, and, and follow characters around and see things. And, and of course, we intend to build really powerful storylines around the characters and our community members will build really powerful storylines around their characters that are kind of all moving around this world and doing things. And it's a crime franchise. So, you know, most of these stories are all very crime related and all these characters are criminals or cops um, with some criminality. Uh, and that's the fun of this specific genre that we're creating. But um, but you'll be able to kind of like a sleep no more. If anyone's ever experienced that sleep no more is this really fun experience they have i think it started in new york i believe it's they've got a few around the world and you go into a giant building that's a set they've built out all these rooms with sets and props and things and then there's all these actors moving around telling stories acting they're do, they're putting on a scene they're putting on a show and you can just walk around and follow any character you want and decide who you want to watch um, and then if you're, if you meet a new character while you you're following one, you can break off and go follow the other character and really get a story, you know, and then watch the way that they intersect and move around. And it's kind of, it's very, very choose your own adventure. Um, so this will, in many ways, by coming in via the game engine, it'll be like, you're coming into your own little sleep no more. Um, and you, you can just kind of move around and watch story. And, and, and we hope that these stories are compelling and powerful and interesting and innovative and just exciting and entertaining. Um, but then at the same time, we'll be exporting stories, kind of like the way that you've just seen the camera move around here. We'll export stories. So we'll tell them cinematically. So one is just moving in, you know, from that game camera, that God perspective of just floating around and watching characters. And of course, you'll probably be able to hit a key and kind of change perspective on the characters that you're watching and then move around and then break out of their storyline and float around the city. And, oh, there's a bank robbery happening over here. Let's go see what's happening with that, right? Zoom in and see a character, hit a button, get their name information, decide if you want to follow their story hands off. And you can do this, do this with your VR goggles, do it from your desktop, do it on your phone. Um, but then, of course, creators will also be able to export their stories in a more cinematic way where they're, where they're choosing shots, much like what you've seen here. The camera's moving around and they'll be able to, hey, I want to do a close-up here. I want to be on this character for that scene. I want to be on this character for this moment. And then we want to push in here and get an overhead. It really gets cinematic with it. Um, and then we'll export those and those will live in a variety of different places so that more and more people are just enjoying this entertainment and watching the show uh, in a in more traditional cinematic way. Um, and there will be billboards in this world. And these billboards, as you can see, there's one here. It has my production company's uh, logo on it, Ardor Pictures. 
Um, but these billboards, they uh, they will be granted to holders of various digital assets that connect to each billboard. And by holding one of those on our DAP, you'll be able to connect it. You'll get a open page where you can upload your art. So you can upload your own NFT, photo, headshot, business advertisement, movie poster for the little movie that you've made within this franchise. Right? Like get creative. Anything that you want, you can kind of put in there. Um, and over time, as more and more people are coming into these spaces and watching and partaking in this creative exercise that we're doing with the community, this ad space ideally becomes more and more valuable. And it's a really cool place for people to exhibit their stories and promote their brands. Um, and so, yeah, we've, we've taken care to, you know, place ads and we, you know, look, cities have ads. It's a part of the world, right? So this footage here. Um, is just kind of us moving around and grabbing shots for these ads. And I mean, you can just see how dynamic looking this this movie studio is that we're building, that we're all going to be able to come into and tell stories within. Um, so look, I'm just super excited about this uh, and wanted to share with you a little bit on, on what we're doing and, and how we're thinking about, you know, monetizing a world like this add structures within a world like this and just show you what we're building, show you the functionality of this camera, the camera that we've put into the space. Um, but let me know what you think. Would love some comments below if you have any thoughts, opinions, input, ideas. Uh, and if you want a billboard, comment below and I'm going to give one away to one of the commentors. Um, so yeah, you know, um, the DAP will be up soon. So do pay attention, flinchthemovie.com. As of now, you can kind of learn everything about the project on our Twitter, which I will link um, in this video. Uh, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care.